guys, I'm back. It's Anne. I know, it, it, it happens now and again that I do a couple of films kind of close together. I was kind of feeling like it because I wanted to talk about some of my DIY stuff that people have asked about. And yes, I've got my glasses on. I've got the light way up here. You'll have to let me know if the reflection still bugs you. But I've got a headache, so the glasses are on. Yes, there is stuff behind the glasses. Anyway, one of the first things, because I've, I've been using this forever, and people have asked about it, so I'm going to... This is the spray that I use to wet my brushes when I'm working with a, with a shimmer. Now... The biggest difference between this, like, you know, the CoverGirl Lockup or the Mac Fix Plus or whatever, and plain water is that they've got glycerin. Glycerin, and I use the vegetable version, is basically a water-soluble oil. It mixes in really well, see? It's like just no blobs, nothing. And I can get a bottle of vegetable glycerin, a six ounce bottle, which is about like that, for 10 bucks or less, depending on where I pick it up. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I really only need this tiny little bit of this bottle to have glycerin in it. I mean, I'm barely using even a quarter of an ounce. Probably not that much. I mean, we're talking a teaspoon here. You know, in the bottom of the bottle. Past that, I put in water, usually filtered water, and then I put in witch hazel. Now, glycerin, glycerin is a moisturizer. It's an incredibly good moisturizer. It's also used to take care of wounds in patients. It's wonderful. And be, but because it's a little bit sticky, it helps the makeup adhere just a little better. I put some water in just to kind of thin it out some. And my puppy is having a hissy fit about his, his food bowl because it's gotten turned sideways. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay, I think we're back now. Anyway. I used the water to thin it out a little bit. And I use the toner just so it's got a little more oomph. Now, you can get the witch hazel that's specifically listed as a toner. Usually they've put a little more fragrance in it or something so that it's not just blah. Now, me, I go over to the first aid area. And when I go over to the first aid area, I pick up the cheap witch hazel in the first aid area and because I'm not caring whether or not this has a scent. And I pour the witch hazel in to finish filling this up. It gives it a little more freshening effect to it than just the plain water. You can do the plain water doesn't matter. If you prefer something like rose water toner, you can use that. The point is to have enough fluid in here to have mixed the, the glycerin down so that it's not too thick. And, you know, this is really splooshy. Now, the reason I do this is because, okay, yeah, I've got the CoverGirl Lock It Up. 
And this one was on a special sale. It was only two bucks. But that's two bucks for one that I'm going to put all over my face. And this one, I could use it for all over my face if I wanted to. But this one is pennies. Pennies. I don't have a big budget. We've discussed this before. I don't have a big budget. So, a little spritz bottle and some inexpensive ingredients and I've got a fix spray that I can use either as an all over the face fix spray or just on my brushes when I'm working with a shimmer. And I think it's a pretty good value. Now one of the other things that I've been doing is I crochet. Well, I crochet, I knit, I quilt, all this stuff. But I had this really, really, really soft cotton. So I got my trusty crochet hook out and I made myself some little face wipes. I put a little micellar water on these. They're so, oh, they are soft. They are so soft. They are wonderful. They are soft. Put a little micellar water on these and voila. No more cotton pads. I limit the number of disposable makeup wipes I use. These are eminently washable. And I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up one of those little mesh bags that you're supposed to use for your delicates and lingerie. And I just pop the used ones in there and throw it in the laundry. Now, I've got a fairly good stack. I've got about six or seven at this point. I need to get some more of that really soft cotton and do some more. But they're dead simple. Single stitch, single basic stitch. If somebody wants me to show them, let me know. I'll do a short video with how to do these. I can do that. It's simple. It's the same stitch I used with a chunkier yarn, well, cotton yarn, that I use for a coaster for my coffee. This one's just a lot softer than the one I use for my coffee cup. Next DIY project. People like color switches. I like color switches. It makes things very, very quick. You can take something like this or something like this or just a basic washcloth and put that on your lap and use that for a color switch. You don't have to go out and buy a little black sponge in a little tin for seven bucks or more. Okay? Now, the one that I did that has kind of a sponge thing to it is I went to the Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. And I got a little tin. It's actually, it does actually have a lid in case I'm traveling. And I found a little tin that fits a ponytail donut. Now, the package of ponytail donuts was two to a pack. So I've got one in here 
while the other one is in the wash. And literally, it's no different than any other of the color switches. You just rub your brush across the sponge part. No big deal. Take the sponge part, go wash it out, tip the powder out of the tin, put it away, start over. The thing that I would suggest you do is pretty much all of my brushes at this point are synthetics. If you use real hair brushes, don't do this. Use this. Real hair brushes are a bit more delicate when it comes to scraping them across something rough. Now, the fancy ones that you get that have, you know, it comes all together and you go out and you spend many buckuses on a fancy one with a fancy name on it, I have noticed that the ones that I have seen, the sponges look to me much more aggressive than the uh, the ponytail holder. This is actually a very fine, fairly soft mesh. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, running my synthetic brushes over it when I'm working on something, doing a tutorial or whatever, isn't a problem for me. I don't have any natural hair brushes anymore. I used to have. And I just, they're a little on the expensive side. I like them. I'm picky about which ones I go after. Some of the natural hair brushes, especially the goat hair, lots of those are actually harvested like you would for harvesting angora and such for making yarn. You comb it off them. And there will be some of the harder bristles in that comb off. At which point you can make brushes. Because you got to take those out anyway. I don't do mink. I, I just, I can't, mm -mm. I can't do mink. That's a byproduct of the fur coat industry. And, um, yeah, no. I know how ranch-raised minks are treated, and I'm not here for it. Goat hair, I'll work with. However, they're expensive. So, yeah, no. I've got lots and lots of synthetic brushes. I'll leave it right there. Um, now, where else am I? Ah, oh, yeah, my weird box. Okay. Some of you may know what this is because you may have small children and you're like putting all the little things like the, the, the pacifiers and bottle parts and stuff in one of these to pit, put in the dishwasher so they don't get lost, but you can sterilize all that stuff. Normally, these things have a second layer, so you've got a piece here. We took it out because of what I'm doing with it. This is some of the elastic that you get off of a pair of inexpensive shoes. It's what holds them together at the store. It's just the string elastic that goes between shoes. What I did is I wanted a drying rack for my brushes. So the fat brushes 
with the fatter handles fit fairly well right there. If I've washed them, I hang them the other way. I open this up, push it through, close it, and then they hang. I try not to catch them in the, in the front, though. But they hang so that they dry hanging down and you don't get any water getting down into the ferrule. I did these elastics on the side so I can take the smaller brushes and go right around the exterior with the smaller brushes. Now, when I got this, I got this from thrift store for a dollar. The elastic was part of a pair of shoes I bought, so it was technically faux free. I also have these. I have two of them. These I bought from AliExpress. I bought them from AliExpress for $2 a piece. They have all make, manner, and size of brush holder. Now with these, you have a choice. You can use them to dry with by running them up this way. Or use them as a holder on your table this way. Yes, I did. I bought these. They were $2 a piece. Free shipping AliExpress. They're plastic. They're hard plastic. When they come in, they're covered in this paper stuff that keeps them from getting scratched up and stuff while they're being cut and assembled and everything. They literally just pop together. Yes, it's plastic, but I'm going to be reusing this for a long time. And I'm looking at these that I got on a whim. And looking at my box, and I'm going, not a lot of difference. Silicone here to hold the, hold the brushes. Silicone here to hold the brushes. Various sizes. Various sizes. And between that box and two of these, because I've got two, between the box and two of these, if I let myself get out of hand again on how many brushes I have to wash, I can do them all in one go. Show you right now that currently, this is all the brushes I have out that need to be washed. Better, huh? I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Now, one of the other things that I get from AliExpress, and you don't have to, like, go out and buy tons of these, is this. Yes, it's a funny looking little thing. It's a piece of plastic netting. Now, you may have seen this if you've gotten some nice brushes in and the big fat brushes come in with something like this on them. They are reusable. And when I've washed my brushes, when I've washed my brushes, I put one of these back on. I got a package of 200 of these little things 
for a buck. Again, AliExpress. No, I am not sponsored by AliExpress. But when you take them off, your brush is, is, is nicely reformed. It's all fluffy. It's, it's properly shaped. And you don't run as much of a risk of wrecking the top of your brush. I keep those right in the basket with the rest of them so that when I wash the, the brushes again, I've got it right there. I've only used a few. I've got tons. If one of them rips, not a biggie. Grandchildren do vex me. Occasionally. Both of my grandchildren are autistic. One of them is fairly high functioning. The other one, the littler one, is not. So trying to put him to bed is usually a very loud occurrence. He doesn't want to go. He wants to stick around. Now, trying to do stuff to get yourself set up with bits and pieces that you can do DIY. I mean, you can make your own carousel for makeup. If you don't believe me, go over to Nona's channel, My So-Called Life 1977. She has a bought stuff at the Dollar Tree, like these pencil cups, and some marbles and a couple of cake pans and that kind of stuff. And she has put together an absolutely wonderful carousel for her brushes and such. She's not the only one. So you can look on DIY and you'll find people who have done brush carousels, makeup carousels, all kinds of stuff that you can make yourself that'll look just fine as much as any of the other fancy ones do. And, you know, if you don't like the colors or if you couldn't find everything all in one color at that Dollar Tree, get a can of paint, spray it, Make it whatever color you want. You don't have to have specialty stuff. You really don't. I mean, yes, I have a divided lipstick holder. They've got them at Dollar Tree. I went to the thrift store. And they had a riser that's also got a drawer in it for part of the setup I've got for holding my camera up at the right height. It's supposed to, it's meant to be holding things like a computer screen. I stuck my camera on it. It's got a drawer under it, a divided drawer. You don't have to have the IKEA Alex drawers to organize your makeup. I've got one of those little plastic and metal drawer sets that it was 30 bucks. I've got a couple of little multi drawer nightstand kind of things that were like 15 20 bucks you don't have to go crazy you can do it with little bitty things I, some of the stuff that i've got like the piece up there with all of those palettes in it that was a toast holder i picked up at the thrift store. 
you put toast in one side, the other side is big, so you can put your jam in there. I've got letter sorters that are holding up some of the other palettes up there. It doesn't have to be expensive, and it doesn't all have to be store-bought. You can make your own. If you've got old towels that are no longer fit for, like, going around a person to dry them with, but there's still some good material in them, fine. Cut them down, run a quick hem around the edges so that they don't keep floofing off. You've got the same, same basic thing as this, or a washcloth. Now, these, believe it or not, these, I got two at a time from the dollar store. The other version that I use is I get the six for a dollar baby washcloth. It's still microfiber, it's still inexpensive, and they work. You don't have to get the, like, three for 20 buck with the fancy little hanger thing, face scrubby things. They're not necessary. They're nice. They really are, but they're not the be-all and end-all. Make your budget work for you. Figure out other ways to do stuff. I dare you. No, really, I dare you. Things like, I've got my little mirror here. It stays mostly out of the way, but it's sitting on top of an upside down basket because that's what raises it up to just the right height for me to be able to lean forward a little bit, see what I'm doing, and not block the camera with the mirror. Find workarounds. You don't have to have something that, that some of the gurus who are making boo coops the bookies have. It's like, I don't have 200 people yet. I'm a far distance from getting towards making anything back off of this. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing my scavenging. I'm going to scavenge the thrift store. I'm going to scavenge the Dollar Tree. I'm going to scavenge AliExpress. And AliExpress has got some actual pretty good stuff. This is a, a Animore professional brush. Angie from 4F Beauty mentioned these on her channel. And I followed the link on her channel and went and got them. And they're beautiful. They're soft. But they've got some strength to them. They don't just smoosh down. I get stuff from AOA, Shop Ms. A. Bottle of foundation. Yes, it's a small bottle of foundation. It's a whole 0.64 ounces. Cost me a dollar. 
liquid highlight. Same kind of thing. Some of my favorite brushes are Shop Miss A. Cost me a dollar. No, I am not sponsored. Some days I wish. But there are ways to get stuff that doesn't break the bank. Look for sales. Look hard for sales. This physician's formula, I got three of them. And I got three of them because at my right aid the other day, this physician's formula liquid lip was on sale at 75% off. That's a good number. I go and pick up profusion palettes at places like Rite Aid come Christmas time because this was 10 bucks. And it's a wonderful palette. It's what I've got on my eyes right now. It's what I used for the Green Goddess film that went up on the 5th. It's, you can do this. You do not have to have the most expensive piece in the world. Is it nice to have expensive stuff? You freaking betcha. I am thrilled to death with the giveaway stuff that I've gotten that has been high end. I have been freaking thrilled with the stuff that comes in my Ipsy bag that has been high end. Am I going to run right out and replace it when it's gone? No. I have other stuff I can use. And yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury stuff is delightful. I won that in a giveaway. I love it. No, I'm not going to replace it. I don't have that kind of money. But I have other things that work pretty much as well. Not a big deal. Keep an eye out for sales. Try every chance you get to hit a giveaway. It's how I got my mini Natasha Denona. It was on a giveaway. And it's delightful. I understand that she makes a great formula. I don't understand her price point, but I understand she makes a great formula. So do these guys. So does Delancey. Delancey is the main palette I used for the Green Goddess. Delancey is not expensive. See what you can do when you go shopping this holiday season. You might surprise yourself. If you know somebody who's looking for bits and pieces for their own channel or just because they want to, there's this nifty little thing. People have been using these cute little mirrors with this kind of pattern on the back. You can get them in all kinds of colors. You can get them in metallics. They're at the Dollar Tree. They're adorable. They're at the Dollar Tree. I had somebody go nuts over this fan because of the Green Goddess bid. It's a Dollar Tree. No, I am not giving away trade secrets. I'm just telling you where I find stuff. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And I got this one because of this little medallion on it. The little medallion says, Live, Laugh, Love. 
we've got that slogan all over our house. It's one of our things. So, yeah, when I saw that, I jumped on it. The pretty flowers that I've had, you know, and the, 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 the funky Halloween flowers with the eyeballs in it and the, and the spiders and stuff. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. You can do your fan. You can get your fan inexpensive. Would it be nice to have one of the really funky silk fans? Yeah, you betcha. I'll let you know when I get one. Anyway. Go looking. Go shopping. Go look at AliExpress. Go look at Top Hatter. There's all kinds of nifty stuff you can find that will not break the bank or that you can make for yourself that you can use either on one of these channels or just use at home anyway. Don't want to have to go out and buy a big bottle of expensive setting spray? There you go. Works just fine. I've used it both on my brushes and on my face because I only bought this one because I love cucumber and it was on sale for two bucks. This one works just fine. This is just plain water. And when I finished up the Acto that I got as part of PR, this was the antioxidant mist, which I dearly love. But when I finished it up, I said, hmm, perfectly good spray bottle. Now plain water. Don't believe you can't do stuff. Just because some of the other people on YouTube have more expensive stuff. Most of what you're looking for is reasonable formulas and your technique. Practice. Go make yourself some stuff. Go clean your face with a homemade wipe. These things are so wonderful. Yeah, just basic, plain, soft cotton yarn. Beautiful stuff. Decent brushes. Ha oh, ha ha. It's my blush brush. So soft. AliExpress. AliExpress. A whole set, brand new set of eco tools that were at the thrift store. Never been opened. <laughs> Go look. Go look. You can find things of all make, manner, and description that you can set stuff up with. That big fan brush, I'm not sure if you can see it currently, but it was sitting closer out this way before. My big fan brush, it's sitting in a toothbrush holder. <laughs> anyway. It's currently the 5th of December. It's still shopping time. Some places the weather has gotten a little funky. Some places the weather has gotten a lot funky. 
we had over most of the past week we've had the remainders of eight inches of snow so what was kind of pretty is now looking a bit ragged and then you've got the plowed streets which means you know dirty snow along the sides it's a little treacherous driving be careful and be good mm -hmm.